Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We're back with another What's Sold. This is going to be part two. Um, this is just a weekend portion. It's probably going to be a little bit of a smaller uh, length video, I think, based on how many uh, clips or whatever were in there. But hopefully you guys will still get something out of there and there's some information you can use in your business. I know for me, sales are still staying pretty strong. So that's uh, reassuring that we can hopefully uh, continue to have a pretty good year. Garage sales are opening back up. So I went out last weekend. You still have to social distance and wear a mask and all that stuff here in California. So I was very careful, but it was nice to go out there and try to find some stuff and just get back into the rhythm. That thrill of the hunt definitely is probably what drives a lot of us resellers to keep doing this. Um, but I hope everyone, again, is doing very well out there, being safe. Your families are safe. Hopefully everyone had a wonderful Father's Day weekend. I know I did. And um, I know in the last video there was that little clip where I had to kind of just show the screenshots and it was just me on the screen. I was curious uh, possibly for some feedback on that if you guys like that way or you prefer still the normal way. Just curious to see because obviously some people have different preferences and I didn't know if that'd be something that people like more uh, versus the way I do it where I show the items and the screen the screenshots on the screen. So definitely let me know if you want to have some feedback. If not, it's cool as well. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We are back with the what sold for the weekend, Friday through Sunday. I think there's 41 or 2 sales. A couple of them I actually have to go pick up after this, so you'll see those in the next clip. Um, there's a bunch from the Rock and Roll deal, so at the end of this clip we'll just look at the kind of um, sheet here and see how much we've sold so far from that big $735 buy. So let's get into it. First off is a Monopoly Doctor Who. This was 10 bucks from a Facebook Marketplace deal. They got a bunch of board games, 10 bucks each. I think about five of them or something like that. There were two um, Doctor Who Monopolies and a couple other ones. There was another Doctor Who something. And I think there was a Risk game and stuff. And um, they're all sealed. This one sold for 40 shipped, which is pretty good for my $10. It'll cost like 12 to 14 to ship it. And we'll make a little bit of money. It's, I kind of look at it as like a retail arbitrage because it's brand new sealed. I kind of had to pay up a little bit for it, but it was a multi-quantity easy listing. So... Here's a Sonos Bridge. This one's actually brand new in the box. The box is a little beat up, but everything's still kind of sealed inside. It's over 30 shipped. Came in a big buy from Storage Unit Guy. These are some Christmas mugs, also from Storage Unit Guy. Um, you'll see on the screen, but you can kind of get there's four mugs in there. This reminds me of Mike over at Newfound Pass. If you haven't checked his channel out, check it out. He sells a lot of cool stuff and does pretty well sometimes on vintage mugs and stuff like that. I threw those in the pile that I got. I didn't know what I'd get for them. They ended up selling for 37 ship, which I thought was okay. Probably costs, you know, somewhere in that $14 range to ship them out, and we'll make a few bucks there. Here is a, a Star Wars Darth Vader mask. This one sold for 10 bucks. Not really, really worth even listing. It's going to go first class just barely, so we might make a couple bucks on it, but wouldn't recommend uh, listing that. Maybe around Halloween we do better, I don't know, but it really wasn't a great buy. Uh, this is from the big Tandy TRS-80 um, deal. I should have had a video on it, so hopefully I'll remember to link it at the end. Um, this one is the Where in the World is Carmen Sandier. I had two copies of this one, and this one sold for like 69 ship full price, so pretty cool there. Um, this is a Modern Warfare 2 Xbox 360 system with the HDMI and the power cables. It does work. Sold that for 100 ship, no controllers, no games. That came in the same buy that I got the Sonos bridge from, so that was an awesome deal there. Here's a Toastmaster bread, bread maker paddle. This one sold for 18 ship. You'll see the, by the picture it's an old listing. Um, it's pretty high price for a bread paddle to use. I don't get that much, but 18 ship. Happy with that. I think I also got 18 ship on these Memorex 5 pack here of VHS tapes. Um, 18 ship. They usually end up going like Pirate Ship or Smart Post or something like that for like 8 to 10 bucks. I usually walk away with maybe like 5 bucks or so on. I'm not a whole lot. I think I paid a buck or two. Um, for a bunch of sealed VHS, and this spy pack was in there, plus some Sony ones and stuff like that. So it ended up being a good deal. Um, this is a backgammon set. You can see the case is kind of beat up. I'm not going to open it up, but it is complete. That one sold within about a day for 33 shipped. They're not that heavy. Again, you spend that $14, $16 range, you can make 10 to 15 bucks, depending on what it is. This one was a dollar at a garage sale. These are, um, I don't know how many pairs, seven pairs of size 38 cargo shorts and regular kind of shorts, plaid shorts. Uh, I took a best off for a 50 shipped on those. If I can find a bunch of cargos, and it doesn't matter really what brand, as long as they're different colors and in good condition and the same size, and they don't seem to have shrunk or anything like that, I'll go ahead and list them in a big pile. And you usually get like five to six, seven bucks a pair uh, if you have a decent lot. So that was worth a thing size 38, and they got 50 shipped on those. This is some Oneida Yorktown flatware here. This is, I forgot how many pieces. 
45 pieces of the Yorktown. This one sold for 95 shipped on the best offer. I think this was a $15 buy it in the state sale and got 95 shipped on that. Usually I just put them in the plastic bag, wrap them in some bubble, and shove them in a padded flat rate and send them on their way. Um, this is a Ronco rotisserie, but it's actually just the feet right here. I um, unscrewed them on the bottom. They're, it's supposed to actually have little rubber inserts here, but they're missing. So I listed my a little cheaper, but I still got 37 bucks just for these little feet off a big Ronco machine. I parted the whole thing out, so that was pretty cool. A couple of clothing items. This is a Paradise Found. It's a really cool jazz um, shirt, but it's got some stains. There's some right there. You probably can't see it too well. There's one, then there's a little bit one further down, and I think some over here. Um, this ended up selling for like 15 shipped on the best offer. I paid three bucks. I didn't notice the stains. Ended up uh, taking the best offer of 15. This probably could have got 25 plus if it was in good shape. This was a uh, five bucks at Savers. It's a New York Yankees, but it's by Lee Sport. It's not a Spooner one. Um, this one that took a best offer of 30 ship, though. Pretty cool. Uh, I, I like the Sport Hawaiian stuff. They always seem to do well. And this is Dennis Rodman, 52. Um, jersey here. This one's kind of beat up and stained, but I still got 45 shipped on that. So happy about that. An iPhone, or not an iPhone, a MacBook charger by Apple. That one sold for 25 shipped. Two more HP 60 inks. These are the combos here with the color and the black. They sold for 20 each. These are actually from the Rock and Roll buy. Um, this Dan Lectro one I think sold for 50. This is the PB and J. You can kind of see it up there, hopefully. PB and J. And this one was the best one. The Depths, the Earthquake devices. This little pedal here sold for 150 shipped. So uh, those also came from the Rock and Roll buy, like I said. Tack sold for nine bucks for GameCube. Uh, Gallop Racer sold for thirteen shipped for uh, PS2. This is a DS uh, Lite. It's broken though. It powers up, but the screen doesn't work. It's still sold for twenty shipped. Which I was surprised that he, I even listed that high. I'm surprised it even sold. Uh, Tough Crew. This cassette right here sold for twenty shipped. This is Danger Zone. That one's going international. Some CDs here. These two Usher CDs sold for eight shipped combined. This is from the Rock and Roll Buy. This one sold for eighty shipped. It's Crystal Ball. Um, by Prince, if I'm not mistaken, so 80 bucks there. That one again came from the rock and roll buy. Uh, then this is a bad boy CD. This one sold for eight shipped from a different buy, and Scarface the Diary from a different buy sold for 19 shipped. So pretty good there. Uh, signing time I bought all these DVDs, they were I think like three bucks each plus tax. I got nine of them, and they ended up selling for 85 shipped. Some of them are sealed. I've sold this set before, I think I ended up paying like 30 something bucks, whatever it is, but. Um, sold them for an 85 shipped. I paid up for them because I knew I could make the money and it was worth it. They sold. This little DVD here sold for, I think, 12 shipped. Theremin, um, an electric odyssey. This is from the old, uh, like, vintage movie buy that I had where all these old movies are converted to DVD. This one sold for 8 shipped. These hip-hop ads were part of a $10 exercise DVD bundle on Facebook Marketplace. Um, they had some Les Mills pump stuff. These were thrown in and they sold for 14 shipped. Two of them were sealed. This is from the Rock and Roll Buy. The Kids Are All Right. The Who DVD. This one sold for 12 shipped. Elvis, the 68 Comeback. I think this sold for 10 or 8 shipped, somewhere around there. And then Deep, that's also from the Rock and Roll Buy. And then the Deep Purple one sold for 10 shipped, also from the Rock and Roll. And then here is the Studio Stories David Simmons. This one also sold for 12 bucks, and that one came out of the Rock and Roll stuff. My Bible Friends, books 1 through 5. I did a video on this with a bunch of Bible story stuff and some CDs. And uh, these ended up selling for like 75 shipped, I think, for all five of them. So a great deal there. How to get whatever you want. Sold for 25 shipped. And then lastly, uh, Galeo. This is a Kamatsu parts book. This one took a best off for a 40 shipped on. Um, I bought a bunch of Excavator and like CAD and different kind of... Um, like uh, construction machineries type stuff. Heavy uh, machinery. Uh, parts and manual books. I bought them all for 90 bucks and I've been selling sold most of them for like a hundred bucks or so This was just a single parts book and it sold for 40 shipped I think I have one or two left, but it was a great deal if you can find um, Like CAD or Bobcat different manuals for bigger machinery um, Usually that some of those can be worth a lot of money I think the cat ones have done really well for me almost every time I've got them But I never heard of the Komatsu, but I found them and they ended up selling pretty well So I will see you guys in the next clip with a total of what we sold so far from the rock and roll buy as well as eventually we'll get in with whatever else sold tonight hey everyone apologize for the horrible handwriting but just to kind of recap we were at 501.74 before the weekend sales we had all these sales and on to the next page 
And we finished off with the Elvis DVD, which actually sold for $15.99 more than I thought. And we're at $8.31.67. We paid $7.35 in total for all the rock and roll stuff. Um, at this point, we're not actually in the profit yet. Those are just total sales. That doesn't count out the shipping fees and all that. Um, so we're still got a little ways to go, but we're close. And then once we hit that in the money um, part of the deal and we're, everything's profit at that point, it's going to be awesome. Because we've already listed over $4,000 worth of books, CDs, and the guitar pedals and stuff. And we haven't even touched the tour shirts. And we still have books and magazines and stuff to go. So it's going to be a really great buy. But we'll kind of keep track as we move along. Hey everyone, we're back with the final two sales from the weekend. This is a Stone Brewing t-shirt, size 2XL. Uh, just kind of a generic t-shirt here. This one ended up selling for 18 bucks. I had a whole bunch of this Stone Brewing stuff, um, a bunch of the work shirts, and then a bunch of t-shirts I got for 60 bucks. We've already sold, I think, I don't know, 100 and almost 50 bucks worth, so this is added on top of that, and we still have a bunch more to go. And then here's a Wrangler. It's like a 3XL. Um, Pearl Snap shirt. Um, this one ended up selling for I think 27 bucks or something like that shipped. I think we only paid a couple bucks for it, so pretty good deal.